the top 10 oldest engines which are still running today. At number 10, the Welland jet engine from 1943. Before the Second World War, jet engines primarily existed in the lab, but that quickly changed and although this particular jet engine is not the first one built, it is the oldest running jet engine in the world. This particular powerhouse was intended to be used in a meteor, which was the Allies' only jet fighter to enter into service during World War II. Terry and his team ironically found this piece of history in a scrapyard, and it took many hours of work to fully restore the iconic Rolls-Royce Welland. At number 9, the largest diesel engine from 1932. Everyone has probably heard of this iconic piece of history, which pretty much takes up a whole building. Located in Denmark, the 22,000 horsepower 8-cylinder engine stands over 41 feet high and 80 feet wide. It was used to supply electricity, but it was allegedly also used to hide weapons in World War II. It's now just a tourist attraction and it starts up a few times every month. At number 8, the Man U-Boat Engine from 1917. We now step back all the way to World War I and we look at a vintage engine. This piece of history lets us glimpse into what actually powered the first submarines in the world. This particular build has 6 cylinders with an overhead camshaft, with the exhaust valves being water cooled. Fortunately at the time the World War was coming to an end and the engine was actually never used in a U-Boat. So it was eventually used for power generation in Holland and it ran for several decades. At number 7, the oldest running diesel engine in the world. Mr. Diesel invented the engine which bears his name in the 1890s. And although he faced many financial issues, he kept refining the diesel engine to make it more efficient and reliable. Unfortunately, it wasn't until the 1920s after his mysterious death when the diesel engine started to take off and fulfill its commercial potential. But anyways, this particular build is a 10 liter and it only produced 12 horsepower so it shows how far we have progressed with diesel engines. The piece of history now exists at the OWL of Applied Sciences in Germany. At number 6, the oldest running automobile engine from 1884. The Didion Buon Dostos, boy I pronounced that wrong, is one of the longest names and one of the oldest running automobiles in the world. This is even way before the infamous Ford Model T, and it sold for over $4.6 million in a recent auction. But before that, it was owned by one family for over 81 years, and it only had four owners in 127 years. It is steam powered, and it has a top speed of 38 miles per hour, which is actually pretty impressive. The car was designed and built by George Bouton, and he eventually founded one of the largest automobile companies at the time. At number 5, the Otto and Lagen engine from 1867. Today we take horsepower for granted. There is no compression and the free acting piston develops its power from atmospheric pressure. The energy of the piston is transmitted to the main shaft through a gear and the directional clutch. Keep in mind that this vintage contraption was invented before the 4 cycle ignition. So it's really primitive and inefficient. But for the time it was cutting edge and it won the grand prize at the Paris Exhibition in 1867. At number 4, the Express Train Engine from 1855. One of the most iconic trains still runs today. The locomotive was built by Kitson Thompson and Hewitson of England, and it was shipped over to India in 1855. It was in operation for over 50 years, and it was eventually put on display at a workshop, where it hibernated for over 100 years. The train was only restored just a few years ago, and it's now a piece of living history on tracks. There is also the very old Fairy Queen, but the Express is claimed to be the oldest of the two locomotives. At number 3, the Crofton Steam Engine from 1812. The Crofton is simply the oldest engine which can still do the job it was designed for. The Crofton looks like a fine piece of art, and it was used to pump and raise the water levels in a reservoir near Berkshire, England. The engine was built for longevity and it utilizes the Cornish cycle. It is single acting and the steam piston is pulled up by the weight of the pump piston and rotting. It is far more efficient than the James Watt steam engine, but it was not really meant for rotary motion and it lacked industrial potential. At number 2, the Bolton and Watt engine from 1785. 
Yet another iconic piece of history is still running today at the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney. It is the oldest engine in the world, which provides rotating motion, and it worked at a brewery in London for many years. So yeah, it made a lot of beer. This particular engine almost made it to a scrapyard, and the flywheel had to be separated into pieces before being transported to the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney. It was eventually fully restored, and it still runs today. Which is just really insane, because this thing was invented around the same time our great-great-great-grandfathers were living in. And number one, the Smethwick engine from 1779. The oldest engine in the world occupies a very large space at the Birmingham Science Museum in England. The iconic engine was built by James Watt, and it served as a large water pump at the Birmingham Canal for over 112 years. So it was built to last. The vintage contraption was a workhorse, like many things in the past, and it lifted over 1,500 buckets of water each minute, so that boats can pass through a particular canal. And it's an iconic build by one of the greatest pioneers of the Industrial Revolution. So once again, this was a really fun video for me to make. It taught me a lot about history and engines. And I also want to thank you for watching, so please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.